Here's how to add a property outline to your real estate videos in DaVinci Resolve. New year, new money, but it's the same old me. And make sure you stay till the end for the extra sauce. Let's cook. All right, let's jump in. All right, so I already have my drone clip in here. First, add your planar tracker. Hit shift space and search for planar. Enter. Okay, so with the planar tracker, we're gonna track the perspective of the camera. So we need to highlight an area that matches the perspective of the outline we're gonna put on. So for this example, I'm going to go around the property that we're gonna be outlining, but I'm not gonna put anything that's in the foreground because that will mess with the track. So I'm not putting the trees in and I'm avoiding other things in the foreground like this tree and this house. So we're just gonna put the outline around this house because it's on the right perspective. You don't need to change any other settings. Just hit set up here and then track forward. All right, so that's tracked. We're gonna hit create planar transform. That's gonna create a planar transform node. Now we can get rid of the planar tracker from our node tree. I'm gonna just drag that away and reconnect media to media out. Next up, we need to create the outline. So first we add a merge node by clicking this button here. I'm gonna put that in the middle to make it easy and easy to understand and clear. I'm gonna click off the node tree and add a background node by clicking this button and then a polygon node to draw our outline. So this button, add the polygon, and now we add the outline. Okay, so it's up to you how you wanna draw your outline. Next, we're gonna connect our background node to our merge node, and we're gonna get a big black box. So to fix that, go into our background node. I'm gonna make this white. So whatever color you make this is what the color will be of your outline. So I'm going for white. Then into the polygon node, I'm going to uncheck solid and then increase my border width. And this is gonna be your outline. Okay, so we've added our outline. Now we just add our transform node and it's tracked. Now to spice this up a little bit more, we're gonna animate the outline so that it draws on as the video plays. Really simple. So I want to start maybe a second into this clip. So I'm gonna to go to frame 25, go to my polygon node. I'm gonna add a keyframe for my length and put it to zero. Now I want this to go for two seconds. So I'm gonna to go to frame 75 and I'm gonna make length one. Now, this will draw it on like so. But it could use a little more spice. So we're gonna go into our spline window. We're gonna select our polygon one and our length. I'm gonna click this button to add it to the window. And we're just gonna ease this animation. So I'm gonna make it slower at the start and lower at the end. All right, so now we've added some curves and it's a lot more smooth and visually pleasing. So you can go as hard as you want on this. You can add a glow node, you can fill in the outline a bit, whatever you like. All right, now for the secret sauce for all you guys that stuck around really quickly, how to do a drop pin. Super useful for real estate videos. We're gonna jump into this clip real fast and we're gonna add a little drop pin. So jump to Fusion, add a tracker node. We're going to track exactly where we want to put the drop in. So I'm going to go on the little tippy corner of this house and we're going to track forward. So that's tracked. Now a very important step, do not miss this. Go to your operation tab, change operation to match move. Otherwise you won't see anything. Now you can add the stock call out if you want, which comes with DaVinci Resolve. Add that in, connect them together, move these around wherever you like and you've got a simple drop pin. Or you can make your own, really simple. All you need is like a shape and some text, or if you just want a shape, you can do that. So I need my shape first. I'm gonna add a background node, add a square mask to that. And I'm gonna make this the rough shape of how I want it to be. On that background, I want it to be white. So I'm gonna change that to white. And now when we connect this up to our tracker, it's gonna be there and it's gonna be tracked. Now we're gonna add a transform node after our background and just make this the size we want and put it where we want. So we've got the basics of the drop pin. Now I just want some text though. So I'm just going to add a text node. I'm gonna type in subject property. I'm going to add a merge node and then I'm going to add my background node for the shape to the merge node and then plug my merge node into the transform so they're all together. And I'm just gonna move my text where it needs to be using the layout tab. I put that right where I want it. Now effectively the transform node is affecting the shape and the text as a group. And we have our very simple drop-in. 